Here's your feel for the seventh race, the Ralph Bus Memorial, the free-for-all pace. Number one is G.A.'s Bold J, owned by Alan and Jackie Bowen and Gary and Jeanette Shields of Mount Sterling, trained and driven by Alan Bowen. Number two is Kater's Last Song, owned by Anthony Kellerman, Jr. of Camp Ron. Mike Rogers trains, and Michelle Morgan will drive. Three is Unequivocal, owned by R.A. Helt of Fortville, Indiana, D.K. Helt, and K.K. Gilman of Clinton, Indiana. Bob Newman trains and will drive. Number four is Hildreth Yates, owned by Carol Hendricks of Eldon, Missouri. Nick Prather trains and Nick will drive. And number five is Sudden Sensation. On the Graham Ross Jr. of Covington, Tennessee, Mike Rogers trains and Mike will drive. Field of free-for-all pacers at the head of the stretch. G.A.'s Bold J. Kater's last song, unequivocal. Hildreth Yates and Sudden Sensation. G.A.'s Bold J. rough-gated and goes off stride here for Alan Bowen. Rest of the field is off and pacing unequivocal on the inside. Drives out very quickly for Bob Newman. Hildreth Yates will drop over to the rail and sudden sensation will battle for the lead as we race around the first turn. It's unequivocal on the inside by three parts of a length. Sudden sensation is right there. Second, Hildreth Yates and Nick Prather racing third. Kater's last song and Michelle Morgan. She's racing fourth. Michelle, the only woman driver at this year's 2003 Brown County Fair in contention here fourth off the quarter in 29 and three-fifths of a second we race into the upper turn it's unequivocal by a length and a quarter sudden sensation sits right there second Hildreth Yates racing third Kater's last song is fourth and GA's Bold J after the break is about 15 links off the lead Free for all pacers in the Ralph Bus Memorial near the half mile marker. The locally trained unequivocal with Bob Newman leads by a length and a quarter. Sudden sensation is still right there. Second, Hildreth Yates starts to move from third. The half and 101 and four fifths of a second. Off the half and 101 and four, we race into the lower turn and the field starts to bunch. It's still unequivocal. Hildreth Yates on the outsides right there. Second, sudden sensations in the pocket. Third, Kater's last song is racing fourth. And G.A.'s Bull J now only about six lengths off the lead as we race up the backstretch towards the three-quarter mile marker. Again, off a of soft fraction. It's unequivocal on the inside by a head. Hildreth Yates trying hard on the outside. Now gets ahead in front. Three-quarters in 132 and a four-fifths of a second. Sudden sensation. Mike Rogers, the leading driver of the meet, now comes up third with cover. He'll have to deep three wide. they got an eighth of a mile to go. It's Hildreth Yates with the lead. Unequivocal on the inside is second. Sudden sensation. But here comes Kater's last song. She comes on to take over third. It's Hildreth Yates drawing away. Hildreth Yates is going to win it by about five. Unequivocal will hold on for second. Kater's last song was third, followed by G.A.'s Bold J and Sudden Sensation. His namesake, Ralph Buss, and Ralph Buss, young Ralph Buss, will present the Ralph Buss Memorial on behalf of the Buss family here in the free for all pace to the Carol Hendricks owned, Nick Prather trained and driven Hildreth Yates. So Pete and Carol Hendricks coming trackside now for this Ralph Buss Memorial Trophy presentation with our fair queen, Michelle Cameron. And a whole bunch of representatives of the Ralph Buss family who continue over the last half a century to support the Brown County Fair and especially its harness racing. And the Ralph Buss Memorial going to Pete and Carol Hendricks, who now live in Eldon, Missouri. Ed, let's get a quick word with Nick Prather, and I'll guarantee it's going to be quick. Nick is one of, <laughs> he's one of these guys that's not real big on talking on the microphone. And, and, Nick, I do want to ask you one thing, though. To come out to the fair and to see how people in Brown County support harness racing, you being a longtime horseman yourself, it's got to feel pretty special to see this kind of crowd, doesn't it? Yeah, it's great. There's a great crowd, and they all like races. And they, hey, and they like seeing you win. Nick, congratulations. Thanks, Kurt. Folks, how about a hand for Mr. Nick Prather? Okay, yes, and we'll see, uh, see Nick in the next race. That's right. He's got to get back to work. Also, Ed had pointed out that Michelle Morgan, who drove Kater's last song, that third-place finish, uh, the only female driver here this week. She's the first female driver ever to compete in a county fair paramutual race in Illinois. Ladies, I think you ladies in the house deserve a shout-out because did you notice 
The, the horse that Michelle drove went off the longest price on the board, 27 to 1, and she brought that horse home third. So, ladies, give yourself a hand there. Ed, back up to you. Thank you, Kurt.